In this video, we're going to talk about the four past tenses. In the previous unit, we talked about the present tenses. You remember that there were four of them. The present simple, I play. Simple simply means it has one word in the positive form. You have the present continuous, I am playing. Continuous tenses you can always recognize by the ing form at the end. You also have the present perfect, I have played, where you will recognize the verb to have and the past participle. And you could also combine the two, a present perfect continuous, which has playing as a continuous and been which is the past participle of to be. So these were the four present tenses. Once you know these, the past tenses are really easy because they are very, very similar. The present simple is I play. The past simple is I played. It is also just one word. You will, of course, remember that not all verbs are regular. Not all verbs simply take ed. There's this whole list of irregular verbs as well. The present continuous, I am playing, then becomes the past continuous, I was playing. And again, you can recognize a continuous tense by the ing form at the end. The verb to be is now in the past, so I was playing. And now we come to the two new tenses. But once you understand what the present perfect and the present perfect continuous is, the past perfect and the past perfect continuous are really easy. I have played. The present form of to have followed by the past participle simply turns into I had played. And the nice thing is had goes for all forms. So I had played, you had played, he had played, we had played, and they had played. So it is always had plus the past participle. Again, pay attention to the verb. It is always the verb to have. In Dutch and in French, you have to think. Does this verb take to be or does it take to have? Ik heb gespeeld. Ik ben gekomen. J'ai joué. Je suis arrivé. But in English it is always to have. So you don't need to worry if you need to take have or was. It's always had. And in the same way, you can form the present perfect continuous and the past perfect continuous. Present perfect continuous have been plus the ing form. The past perfect continuous had been plus the ing form. So these are the four past tenses. In terms of formation, quite easy. Now let's see how we use them. The past tenses are sometimes called the narrative tenses. If you want to tell a story, a story about the past, you're going to start using these. So let's tell a short story and let's put all the actions on this timeline here. Let's pretend that this is now and we're going to talk about something that happened yesterday. Let's start with the past simple. It's a story about a boy called Timmy, and yesterday, at 9 o'clock, Timmy knocked at the door. Timmy opened the door, and he sat in his seat. As you can tell, the past simple is used if you want to add one action after another, which is situated in the past. So apparently Timmy was late, and he had to open the door, and get to his seat. Let's move on to the past continuous. Past continuous is used in this sentence. Mrs. Drabs was teaching. Mrs. Drabs was teaching, as you can tell, this was something that was already going on in the past. 
So when Timmy knocked at the door, Mrs. Drabs had been teaching for a long time. She had been doing this. Something was going on while Timmy did something. In the same way, you could say it was raining very hard outside. Again, this was something that was going on while something else happened. So the past continuous is used for long actions that were already going on when something else happened. Now let's move on to the past perfect. The past perfect is often used to answer the question why. Timmy apparently is late. Why was he late? Timmy was late because he had missed his bus. As you can tell, the past perfect refers to an action which is further back in the past. If this here knocking at the door is nine o'clock, Timmy missing his bus happened at eight o'clock. So it happened further back in the past. So actions that take place further back in the past uh, take a past perfect. And you can keep on going back in the past this way. Why had Timmy missed his bus? He had missed his bus because he had overslept. This is the past perfect. You simply move the action back into the past by one step. And finally, the past perfect continuous. Just like in the present tenses, it's a combination of the two previous tenses. Let's ask ourselves, why did Timmy oversleep that day? Well, Timmy had overslept because he had been studying all night. Again, Timmy oversleeping happens here, seven o'clock in the morning. The reason for this happened before. The night before, for a very long time, he had been studying. He had been studying all night. And here you see this combination of continuous and perfect. They are long actions. Timmy studied for the whole night. And this happened further back in the past. So the combination gives you a past perfect continuous. He had been studying. So with this, you have the four past tenses. Past simple is used to talk about one action after another in the past. Past continuous talks about long actions that were going on in the past. The past perfect talks about actions that took place further back in the past. And the past perfect continuous actions that were going on in the past and took a long time. So a combination of the two. We've already studied the past simple and the past continuous and done some exercises on this. We have not yet done any exercises on the past perfect and the past perfect continuous. For this, you're going to need to study the exercises which start on page 73 for the past perfect and on page 76 for the past perfect continuous.